age of the fall angle um, it was a pretty big angle, and uh, you know it ran for quite some time. And um, you know again, you ended up proving your worth. Um, at some point, you were offered a contract for Ring of Honor. Yes, is that right? After the um, movie, which uh, I had not. I'd been working for like a year and a half, being paid per appearance. Okay. And uh, the first contract they offer, ever offered me was a two-year contract which a lot of the other wrestlers made fun of me for signing a two-year contract, but I would have signed a 50-year contract. Well, let's I didn't care that it was worth nothing. I didn't care that it promised me no dates, no money, no insurance, no nothing. They gave me 10% of merchandise, which who the fuck, that's, how can I improve like How can I improve that anyway? <laughs> you know what I'm well, saying? Well, they made like seven or eight different shirts with me on them, so someone must have been buying them somewhere. Well, most of the indies, you make your own shirts and you get I them. I never them. make my own shirts. Right. I have never made, I, uh, you've, never, as as I've known, never. You've never had any merch. Never done merchandise, never done nothing. Never Probably done. Probably left a lot of money on the table. But I, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm not here to get, the, like, this is, like, the, the reason I'm doing this fucking autograph signing, I find it completely reprehensible, completely disgusting. You come into a wrestling show and you see all these wrestlers lined up like a goddamn flea market. Hey, buy my stuff. Buy best of me when I was in AWA. Best of me when I was in Evansville. Uh, best of me on Thursdays. Best of me with <laughs> short hair. Be like, fuck, like, fuck, man. All I want people to do is if, man, times are fucking tough. Nobody's got any fucking money. But if you got some money, bring your kids to the fucking show, bring your old lady to the show, bring your goddamn pothead fucking friends to the show, and introduce your pothead friends to me. But uh, come to the show, sit down, forget about whatever is going on outside this fucking building, but live vicariously through the performers you see on stage. You don't have to give us extra money. Oh, I need, I need $40 for, you to, for me to sign your fucking uh, paper that you brought, your poster from some other show that's from your house. I need... Forty dollars to do that. And if, if somebody sees me outside of a fucking show, I will sign whatever the fuck they want for nothing. Well, for beer or weed is awesome too. But like I, I just, you know, when I was a kid and I watched wrestling, like it was a big goddamn deal if you saw those guys and it wasn't their fucking match. Like I can remember in Wheeling, West Virginia, at the Civic Center. Uh, who the fuck was it? Uh, Dusty Rhodes was like uh, in a steel chair way back by the locker room watching somebody else's match. I'm like, oh wow, man, Dusty, he's watching this match, you know, he's checking it out. I wonder what he's, you know. But nowadays, like, everybody's like lined up. Like, there's probably how many tables are in this fucking place we're at now, dude? 20 fucking tables, maybe 30? There'll be 30 fucking yeah. tables of dudes like, uh, Buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. Give me your money, give me your money. Uh, wrestling fans, uh, wrestling has given me the opportunity for a unique education in the world that I would have never have gotten and don't even feel like I deserve in the first goddamn place. I've gotten to do so many things, so many drugs, so that I couldn't afford, so many celebrities who I would never meet. I have moved in with girls I had no business even talking to. But wrestling has done all that for me. I've traveled the world on somebody else's dime. And how ungrateful would it be for me to say, I need more money. Buy this picture that I made at Albus Max for 200%. What I, how, how, how is that payment for the, you know, I'm happy to be on a show that a promoter thinks my match will make him money. I feel honored to be on that show. I don't, you know, I, I, I realize it's easy, fast money. I realize some guys make more in merchandise than they do wrestling, but that's still not enough to make me sway from my values. I just want to go to the show, hang out with my friends, have a good time, and, and if you don't want to buy some of my fucking shirts or something, well, good for you, because I don't want to fucking, you know, that's not what I'm trying to do, man. I'm, maybe I'm just a fucking weirdo, whatever, but... Like, if I wanted to be fucking rich, I would have done better in college. Like, I went to college for one year and got the fuck out, partially because I was fucking 15. You know, and not, not many uh, social uh, calendars not very full for a 15-year-old freshman when you're 
grandmother is driving you to class and dropping you off at campus and stuff. That's a, yeah. that's a whole other story. Though. Not too many that's chicks will hang out with you unless you're doing their homework or something. And so, like, if I wanted to have a successful income, I would go do something fucking else, man. I don't want to do all that. I don't want. I'm. Yeah, that's I'm cool getting by. I'm happy to get by. I'm having a good time. I like holding my daughter's hands and putting her on the bus every morning. I like going to the store and getting like a fucking candy bar. And my daughter gets off the bus. Ah, candy bar. You know, I like, uh, that's what that I like to creepy. do. No, my kid, man, Christ. My kids as are long fucking as it's nuts. Your kid, it's okay. Yeah, other kids, yeah, inappropriate. Uh, when you look like this, uh, especially when you certain look things like are, you can't tell someone you have like a. Cute kids you got there. Don't offer any kids. Yeah, you can't go up to random strangers. Uh, cute kids you got there. You can't do that. Uh, nighttime digging. Another thing really sends people over the edge. You see somebody looking.